Every time I lay my head at night, I pray to God, watch over me, cause I ain't living right. Reminiscing how I told you that I've been hurt before. Then you hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel today. I got a 20, I think this is 2020, uh, GMC Terrain. I rent it. Of course, it's a four cylinder motor. Do a quick review, you know, quick look around, show you guys how it looks. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys how it drives as well. It's a four cylinder, so of course, you're not going to get that max power, you know, as a six cylinder motor. You know, it's a four, so it's not that powerful, but I love sitting up high. It feels good sitting up higher. You know, I own a sedan, a 2008 Toyota Avalon. So, but look how it is. This is the white the white and black uh, interior uh, the exterior is white interior is black I'm going to show you guys around this is the SLT model uh, all wheel drive of course the terrain you have a backup camera and all uh, I haven't even got to show you guys the key fob but there we go so I'm going to open up the trunk show you guys a little space of course you could put these seats uh, forward just like so so you basically just put push this up and just push it forward and the whole seat will lie lie down the same right here as well so both sides could lay down and give you a full bed or half a bed a full bed <laughs> So you got a lot of trunk space as well. This is the other side. Look at it. Beautiful. Very clean. Really nice. Show you guys how it looks inside. I'm just of course you have the OnStar. And you see the Wi-Fi as well. Equipped with the Wi-Fi. I think you have to pay for that service. I haven't really tried it out to see if it works but most likely you have to pay for that service i don't know you guys correct me i'm not too sure it's a rental so i'm not too sure guys but look it's very clean uh, i want to show you guys inside of the engine as well uh, pop the this is a lock on lock, of course. Down here is the control for the mirrors going up and down, front and back. For not the mirrors, but the the windows. These you control your mirrors right here. You could lock it, of course. Uh, let me pop the hood. Very clean inside. Show you guys how the hood looks. show you guys on the hood um got the ecotech you know it's good on gas i can't remember how much miles per gallon you get per city and a uh, highway but it's a good amount of miles it's like 20 something to 30 um this takes of course the zero zero w20 uh motor oil so it takes the dexas nice little four cylinder motor guys could see it now how this one rides i don't like the way how it rides at all uh it rides really hard maybe because i'm so used to my v6 vehicle and it's more powered because I, I have a 2008 toyota avalon so i have more power to the v6 the v6 of course the v6 is going to have more power but the only thing that i like about this is because it sit it sits up it sits up uh, high. So that's what I like about the SUV. It sits up high. But for power wise, no. But it's good on gas, guys. So about to enter to the vehicle. Here's your light right there. Your, your um, park right there. This is where I pop the hood. Uh, beautiful seat, black on black. Well, black, everything 
interior exterior white so everything is black now in my last video I showed <laughs> as you can see it don't have no shifters it don't have to push the start have your Bluetooth you answer your call your menus in the steering right here here's your gauge let me go back to the back and uh, uh, close the lid because I'm gonna turn on the AC because you already know I'm here in Florida and it is hot so yes yeah, so I'll close that down uh, oh yeah let me show you guys the let me show you guys the uh, the back as well like Oh, hold on all right so this is the back uh you know normal control your window controls uh i have a little pouch right here and the little thing right here as well i don't know maybe you could put some coins or whatever you do have uh, two um cup holders which is nice i love that and you could put it up if you have a full row seat just like this it's really nice, really comfortable. I love the stitching, how it looks and how it feels. You know, it's leather. So when it's hot, you know, leather could be very uncomfortable until the vehicle gets cool. Cause when it's really hot, it stick to your skin and it burn your skin as well. So gotta be careful with that. So we have an LED light right there. LED light in the back as well. And also in the front. And, and back here you have a uh, a normal jack that you could plug in I like this right here you see it you could plug in whatever your cell phone with your normal charger and it charges faster than the regular uh, USB so you got two USB right here in your vents for your AC in the back this is how it looks back here guys it's very clean it's very nice I just don't like the way how it drive it drives really hard like I don't know the whenever I take it back they need to get this vehicle maintained because it drives hard it don't give you that smooth ride I don't know why cuz my 2008 uh, Toyota Avalon drives really smooth and quiet this one drives hard and it it's not quiet. You could hear some sounds while you're driving in the vehicle. You know, you driving on the highway or driving on a normal road, you you will hear some sounds. So I don't know if this need new axles, need a tune up. I don't know what it needs, but or maybe it's the tires that makes noise. I, I'm not even sure. I don't know what it is. But guys, if you have this vehicle, if you own this vehicle and uh yours don't make no noise in the uh while you drive maybe it's just this vehicle itself need to be maintained all right so i started up i love the dual climate control just like my car i could set it on 60 over there you could set it on 71 you could turn it up turn it down you know all the way down to low that side over there will will blow cold. If they're too cold, they can turn it all the way up till it suits their needs with the temperature. You know, turn it all the way up to hot. Depends on what temperature suits they need. Uh, so you have your AC circulation. You can have it down to your leg. You know, most easy, simplest thing. Uh, to start the vehicle, since it's pushed to start, you know you got to put your foot on the brake and you got to uh, press the hold down the start stop button it'll start up this is the shifters right here it's really unique you have your park reverse to go in reverse you got to put your foot on the brake of course and you flick it when you flick it it'll engage into reverse and of course your uh, backup camera will engage because this is equipped with your backup camera uh, you go you could go and drive and I don't know what it, these stands for the L plus and the L minus 
this is the neutral you can put it in neutral put it back in reverse you know put it back in park and that's that so here as well it show you like the economy average of your fueling and I said it's a four-cylinder motor so it really good on gas it's actually better on better on gas of course than my car because my car is a v6 and mine's is more faster it's more power right here it said uh, Wi-Fi network so it's re equipped with Wi-Fi I think you have to pay for it like a subscription and as you can see it said 4G LTE uh, tell you the the temperature 90 degrees uh, time right now is 642 you have your apps uh, I don't even know how to work this thing but it's it's all touch uh, yeah it's all touch guys so basically like scroll up you got your um, okay that don't say nothing right there uh, you, you have Apple car Apple car play your climate your phone uh, GMC download app notification you got your vehicle over here rear seat reminder climate and air um, air quality collision slash detection system which is cool you know safety is really nice really good with safety uh, comfort and convenience I don't even know what are these stuff I'm just going through the menu to show you guys teen driver valid mode yes guys so they have all that um let me go back home okay i guess this is the maps uh audio not the maps but the apps <laughs> audio phone wi-fi hotspot user your app it also equipped with android auto uh apple carplay you have your settings let me go back to apps and see what is going to come up uh you have alexa amazon you have your maps right there uh, audio book all those are free scroll down scroll down iHeart radio Pandora so it have equipped with all those extra stuff that's just free that's that's not bad I like that who don't like free you know have a lot of free stuff so let me go back in that uh, go to settings and see or oh, already mentioned the settings already so yeah power locks remote lock the valet yeah, so I already mentioned that already. Um, I need to show you guys the key fob. Uh, hold on, let me show you guys the key fob. It's the regular, it's like the regular Chevy, you know, GMC, GM motor key fob. A lot of them look the same. And you know, this one got the auto start as well. You lock the car and you hold this down and the vehicle will start up. And I should try that to see if it works. All right, so I didn't even mention you do have heated seats at the top part and the lower part as well. You have your lane assist if you want to activate it. I can't remember what this button do. You have you could put it in two wheel drive. You could put put it in all wheel drive as well, and you could put it by four times times four. I can't. Remember. I don't even know what that mean, and I don't know what that mean. I guess when you're going up a hill that's what that means you have your two cup holders right here in the middle you have a USB a aux a SD you could put insert right there you also have another uh, charging port you could plug in a charger to charge it let me pull this up you have a light down here which is cool you have two more USB you have extra storage this is removable so you can remove that if you want to to have more space and this is a light so you could see you know when it's dark and you can't see so you have a lot of space everybody be comfortable look at the back so let me zoom out yeah look at the back it's really nice really comfortable I love the leather seat you know some people hate leather because you know as I said depends on the temperature if it's too hot it could um if it's too hot it could be um really uncomfortable because it could burn your skin and the glove box is a small one but hey you know it's a nice little glove box 
close that up. You got your AC vents right there over here. Let me turn it down because it's kind of hot. It's kind of hot blowing on this side. So let me turn turn the AC down a little on this side. Make sure you get back cool. Yeah. As you can see, the temperature showed you when you change it. And of course, they have Bluetooth and everything as well. Uh, the volume is down. I'll turn down the volume. Uh, do I miss anything? I don't think so. I don't think that I miss anything. You know, you could scroll down with these menus. Tells you fuel range, the oil life. Oh, you could actually reset your oil life easy as well. You just hold down the check button and it reset to 100%. The oil life remaining for this vehicle is 54% left. So whenever you finish doing your oil change, you could just reset it in the menu. I, I love it when a vehicle, you could reset it yourself without going to the dealer and pay for that. So when you finish doing your oil change yourself. And sometimes when you take it to these local, local shops, a lot of guys don't know how to do it. They tell you just take it to the dealer and the dealer gonna charge you like a hundred bucks. So that's a plus. Uh, up here, you know, you got your normal mirrors. Got your mirrors, you got your glasses up here. The same over here, look like somebody had uh, makeup and they stain. You, know, you see that little stain up there using their makeup. Another mirror, your rear view mirror, you have your OnStar. I think you gotta pay for that service. And up here, you press here if you want your door, when you open your door, the light uh, illuminated just like here. So close back the door and that's all I got to share with you guys I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video GMC terrain 2020 uh, and as I said the uh, right here is very unique with there's no shifter you know I'm so used to my car with my shifter and when I hop into this vehicle I was like I was like looking I was like what I'm supposed to do how I'm supposed to drive this car and you know, right here, park, reverse, neutral, drive. You just put your foot on the brake, you flicked it, you go into reverse, you press the button to go into neutral, you flick it to go into drive. So, and you press the button to go back in park. So, that's all I wanna share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video of this little review of this 2020 Chevy, uh, not Chevy, but GMC Terrain. GM, General Motors. Yes, GMC Terrain. All of them got the same engine, I'm not gonna lie. The Chevy, the GMC is the same. The Cadillac, all of them got the same engine. Cadillac is just more luxury, but um, yeah, American brand vehicle. It's four cylinder. As I said, I, I don't like the way how it drive. I hate the sound that it make when I'm driving. I don't know if it's the tires or something need to be fixed. It's sad to be. It's a 2020. I understand that, but something is not right. <laughs> I'm expecting a way better, like a better, like a smooth. I understand it's a four cylinder. But the, the, when I drive it and making that noise, a lot of road noise, I don't like that. It's My car doesn't even do that. I understand that my car is a luxury car. It's a 2008 Toyota Avalon and it's quiet when I'm driving and it's smooth as well. But for this vehicle to be a 2020 and it's not quiet, they need to do, they need to go back into the, uh, go back and redesign the vehicle and fix this problem that making this bunch of noise but that's all i want to share with you guys i hope you guys have a beautiful sunday it's a beautiful day today thank you guys for watching once again please like subscribe god bless don't forget to pray for yourself your neighbors your friends your family everybody because we need the lord jesus is coming soon and you got to prepare yourself give your life to christ before it's too late before you perish and that's about it guys peace bye bye much love i am out